Well, hi YouTube. It's me. I'm back for part six of how I cure my gastritis. Um, I told you I wouldn't do another video, but I came across some pretty good stuff. Um, and it's not complicated at all, but the reason I want you to have as much information that I come across is so it can help you. Uh, none of this that I've talked about may help you and all of it may help you or just one nugget might help you. Uh, but what I'm having, what I'm talking about is counting sheep, which is sleep. Sleep is so critical to healing your body. I can't emphasize it enough. And let me preface this by saying I'm not a doctor. I can't give medical advice. I've said that in all my videos. I'm just Joe Blow trying to give information that has worked for me and has cured my gastritis. And I hope this helps you. So for me, I try to get six to eight hours of solid sleep every night. I know it's boring. Um, I'm 51 now. I, I don't go out and party and this and that. So I, don't, I actually like to sleep now. I work hard all day. I come home and I just want to relax. But what I do before, and I emphasize this in my other video, is I take the green tea and the turmeric. And that, for whatever reason, just relaxes me. And then the other thing I do is an hour before I go to bed, uh, I turn off all digital devices, phones, YouTube, uh, you know, iPad, whatever it is that you're watching, video games. You have to completely shut your mind down in your body. Our bodies aren't made for, I don't, I, in just my opinion, this massive influx of technology, okay? You, we have to bring our minds down, simmer down, relax our bodies, and just relax before we go to bed, okay? Um, reading a book, I think, is okay, but that still, you know, activates your brain waves. I just think that digital media is really bad for you uh, an hour before you go to bed, so turn it all off. So, about five years ago, I went for a sleep apnea study, and it turned out I had sleep apnea because my spouse kept waking me up, and then I wouldn't sleep, and I was wondering, I'd wake up, and I'd go, I'm exhausted. Every day I'd wake up tired and I just couldn't figure out why. So long story short, got the machine. It really helps significantly. Uh, I sleep through the night because I don't snore. Consequently, it's like a circle. My wife doesn't wake me up and then, you know, you know, you get it. So I sleep really well. And when you sleep, you heal. You have to sleep to heal your body and you have to sleep to heal your gastritis. Okay. If you don't, you're not gonna you're not gonna help your gastritis at all. All these things I've told you, whether it's one thing or all of them together, whatever has has they have they have helped me somehow. I don't know if it's just one thing I'm doing or all of them combined, but I haven't had gastritis since I put that video out, and it's I, I just I feel blessed. I I just don't ever want it again because you know if you're watching this, it's miserable. That dull, aching pain in your stomach is absolutely miserable, you know, and you're bloated and just the whole nine yards, right? You get it if you're a gastritis sufferer. So I hope I hope this helps you, but you really have to start watching some videos on how to get good, uh, a good night's sleep. And you don't need to take pills, I don't think, because you know me, I'm not a pill guy. You know, I do take that on that Brazil, like I said, and I, I, I don't like to take it, but it really helps me. That's the only thing I take. That's it. I don't take aspirin, Advil, any of this stuff, okay? So try to get an amazing night's sleep, watch tons of videos, read books on it, and it is going to help your gastritis, okay? It's going to help you heal, and it's going to help you heal in other ways, too. Combine that with everything else that I've told you. It has to help you. It really does, okay? And if it doesn't, then you just got to keep trying new stuff, okay? Have an amazing evening and a blessed week. Talk to you later.